Hi guys and welcome to another episode from ASUS, Republic of Games Australia. My name of course Dan Kennedy. Today we're having a look at the ET2300 series. This unit I've got in front of me is just one unit of the SKUs for that series and it sports a full high definition 1920x1080 screen. It's an IPS panel so it's got 178 degrees of viewing and it is an all-in-one unit as mentioned so it's not just a screen. It is a full computer and it has 10 points of multi-touch which makes it really, really ideal for playing games like Fruit Ninja. So we're gonna go all the way around and uh, starting at the right side, you'll see that we've got uh, your headphone jack and your microphone. You've got two USB 3.0 ports and as we come around the back, you've got two HDMI ports and an Ethernet cable and the power cable, which is pretty much your standard uh, laptop jack, which is really, really cool. And uh, all the way across here, to the left side, we've got an SD card slot. We've got two of your Thunderbolt ports, which is really, really nice to see. An eSATA slot and two more USB 3.0s. We've also got a Kensington lock here and uh, a CD drive, which you can sort of see here as well. So a slimline CD drive. It also operates under a double hinge system, as you can see here. And uh, that makes it really ideal for if you want to use it on a tabletop or if you want to fold it down to be like the world's largest tablet, you can do so. There's no problem with that. Out of the box, this unit supports wide eye. Now, wide eye is a wireless display technology that's just come out and it'll stream its screen, the screen contents, to whatever wide eye unit you have in your house, be it a monitor or a TV screen or another wide eye enabled device like phones that will come up with the technology. It is a really cool technology. It's the, one of the latest ones to come out, so it's really cool to see. We're also gonna run through very quickly uh, Windows 8 and the very, very basics of it because it just came out and this unit takes full advantage of Windows 8, obviously with the 10 points of multi-touch, obviously with a massive screen. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool unit and we're gonna go through it. So do hang around and um, I'm just gonna take you through pretty much Windows 8. All right, so we're running Windows 8 on the ET2300 system and it's pretty much made for Windows 8. Uh, a lot of the Windows 8 features are touch-based gestures, which I'm gonna run through. I'm gonna show you the basics of that. So the Windows 7 style system that we're really used to is in desktop and you can just drag that up very, very easily and uh, we can go back to the start. So with that system, the only thing you, you'll notice the start menu is missing. That's actually been changed so you can swipe across and then there's your start menu there. And that'll bring you into like settings so you can do your Wi-Fi and all sorts of things. And you can also just go back to this tile sort of layout. So it's a very different graphical user interface. Uh, if you're familiar with Windows Phone 7, it's pretty much like that. And uh, ma massive difference here is that you've got um, application based uh, systems running so you've got you know cut the rope we've got uh, pinball over here we've got fruit ninja uh, and those are just the gaming side and there are a lot of really useful applications like cocktail flow which is very relevant to my interests as you can tell and there's cooking applications lifestyle first aid whatever you want there's going to be a whole bunch of applications that are developed for this store and uh, a lot of them are free which is really really interesting to see and um, yeah it's going to be I think very revolutionizing uh, in terms of how it's going to change the way we use computers and I think a lot of people are pretty much scared of that but once you use the system it's very very easy to get to uh, get used to and it's very intuitive as well. So we're going to go around the start menu and we're going to see how we can move things across. If you hold something down and drag it up you can actually just sort of change the position of that tile and if you do the same thing but you drag down you can actually uninstall it, uh, make it smaller. Uh, turn the live tile off or unpin it completely. So that's a very, very cool system as well. And um, you can actually click here to get to all your applications, um, not just the ones that are on your main page. And you can drag those, you can obviously pin those to your uh, main start menu as well. So it's a very intuitive system. The other basic things, I mean, if you wanna get back to an application, you swipe from right, uh, from left to right, and you can get into everything that you were into before. So obviously all these things we've had open before, uh, as we said, 10 points of multi-touch. I wasn't really lying about that one. It is very, very cool. Um, if we go retry, uh, you can actually use those 10 points of touch to uh, kind of cheat on Fruit Ninja. So you can actually, it's really cool because you can have more than one person uh, playing at the same time, uh, which gets a bit messy, but uh, really, really cool and fun to do. And at any time, you can sort of swipe across here, it pauses whatever you're doing, and uh, you can go back to your start menu. So. To drag it back, if we were to close that as well, we could just go and drag it away. 
and um, and you're back to here and then you've got your other sort of applications that, that we were having a look at. So it's a very cool system. Those the very, very basics. There's a lot that I haven't covered, but um, as you've seen, it's a really good system to use on a touch basis. And it's really cool that this monitor is double hinged and you can sort of uh, hang over it and play whatever you want and use your computer as you want. So with 10 points of touch as well, it's very easy to use the on-screen keyboard and type and uh, browse the internet as well. So we got Asus. Ah, oh, it's already there, go away. And um, yeah, it just loads it. I don't think the internet is very fast on our network. Oh, there we go. So it looks, I like this browser as well. Uh, I know it's not uh, your traditional sort of setup, but it's a really, really nice um, and very easy as well to use touch with this sort of setup as well. So um, if you're familiar with, it's kind of like having a massive tablet and uh, you obviously got your pinch zoom and all sorts of stuff, uh, which is very, very cool. So it is a completely different sort of experience to what you're used to, uh, especially with the all-in-one unit. It's gonna be a very, very versatile system and I'm really quite enjoying it. So uh, if you have any questions about this unit, definitely ask them in the, in the comment section below. I'll try and do my best to answer all of them, uh, but you'll see a lot more of our all-in-one systems in the coming weeks and certainly in the coming months as well as Windows 8 uh, becomes the norm, especially with household systems, especially with the applications that come through as well. So I, I personally am upgrading to Windows 8 on my laptop as well, so I'll be using it with a mouse, but it's good to know how to use it with touchscreen as well, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So this has been Dan Kennedy. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Ha ha ha.